Okay, so let's carry on and on with this bit there. So now stepping back, I can see that's far too light there compared to this. There's too much going on here, gone, gone too mad with all this. So I just want to darken that down a bit. So I'll just go over it with the black, I think. And just, um, there's a nice flat line through there. See, I didn't see that before. It's amazing what you see when you come back or step, step back. It's amazing. This needs to be a lot blacker. A lot, lot blacker there. That needs to be black. Black, black, black. Let's get this sorted out here. This is far too, far too light. And although those lines are going across there, this isn't here really. Just, you know, although it, it kind of looks all right, it's not right. You know, I don't, I don't want it to, don't want it to look like I've made it up too much. You know, that it's very easy to do this with hair. Especially for me, being a hairdresser, you know, I, I kind of have it in my brain how hair hangs, especially with animals, because, you know, I've always, I've always been keen on animals and observing them, because they're so lovely, they're just so beautiful, and such lovely little characters. You know, I have spent a lot of time looking at animals, and I kind of know somewhere in my brain what things are supposed to look like, I think. But, you know, we all think that. And then when we look at it, we think, you yeah, know, what's not right with it? It's because we've made it up too much. And when you come to a bit like this, you know, you have to make it up to a degree. You can't copy it exactly. And this is where things can go wrong. Just have to make that this is a nice black bit there, and I, I really want to get that in there. So I just go over that. It's not I'm not happy with it. Um, you know that line is going up there, which is actually very nice. Just wanna. I don't want to lose that bit there because that's quite nice. Only. don't want it looking too contrived. That's not what we want at all. Okay, let's get the cream again and wipe it off, make sure it's got no black on it. Twist the pencil as you work as well, because then that'll you'll be working on a clean bit and then clean it off every now and again. See how if you knock it back, it, it just blends it nicely back. This bit here, let's come around here. And we've got another curl coming like that. And then we've got a nice curl coming like that. And we'll just go over those with the orangey red, I think. Pinker. 
trying to get a bit of a messy feel to this. A messy look to his hair. A surprising amount of twists and turns in here. do is you can see hairs coming like this in an awkward situation you could just dab it with your finger afterwards just put them in and then dab it back down that often works very well and this needs some more red in it now just streaks So then you'll come to a point where you think, okay, I better now stop um, and then come back to it later. Like I'm just getting to now, I'm just thinking, oh yeah, it's about time I went on to something else now. I've just seen an important bit that I wanted to include there. So I thought I'd just make sure they're in, knock them back a bit, put a bit of red in that. I just want to leave that and then when I come back I'll see immediately. Stepping back I can see there's a big patch of black here that should be there. Um, there probably are hairs in it you see which I've put in because I'm up close but when you step back you use, you're losing that three-dimensional look because I've left it out. And this is what gives the hair some texture and that lovely effect of it's coming out from somewhere rather than just being drawn on the page. These bits will be out over the top of what's underneath. So that's what I'm saying really. This is very bright here. Maybe even put a little bit of white over that. Okay, we'll leave that bit for now. And we'll get on with his... We'll, we'll go back to this bit, I think, here. So, I will just sharpen my pencil, because look, it's got quite blunt. Just sharpen that up up a bit so I'll cut this bit out just doing this with the sandpaper now OK, 
okay right so glass in position this has got a nice sort of mouth and a bit of otherwise um, mucking up all those bits I've just done right now I want to get these in these bits here Those bits are lovely. Well, this bit here, it does have a kind of lighter look in there. Uh, but I think I'll just put a bit more black on that before I before I um, do the hairs over. See, I'm just still looking. I can still see there's a dark line there and it kind of feathers out onto this we need to put those in before we do any any kind of they're, they're a bit red so i'm just going to darken them down and it's kind of more brownie in there isn't it just darken it down it keeps a nice impact then rather than just do it brown Do this while I've got the black in my hand. Yeah, that kind of darkened down, down a bit. I think they're okay, nice and grainy looking and grey. See what lovely thin lines you can get just with a light touch and a fairly blunt pencil. Oh, these lines come across here now. I've got this colour a bit more right and in place I can now do these lines over the top they're quite sharp these in before and they've got they've got carried away in the background so just pop them in again right where was I I was at the eye you see I've just gone right off on a tangent there uh, that's what happens that's what happens when you're drawing it's actually really, uh, and gr really great the way that happens. You just get carried away and just do what you want to do with it. It's lovely. Great fun. That needs to be a bit, a bit grey in there, possibly. You just go over it with the, with the black. 
that's a bit grey looking, isn't it? We'll have a go at that after. Looking at this shape, this is our triangle shape. It's got a bit lost with all the reds I've put around it now. That's that line going there. There. Going across like that. Then down. Then down again. Got another softer line under there. there. That's it, and then out like that. Yeah, this is this is more grey looking. I'm just gonna go over it very lightly with the black because it will still show it won't look like a knot there. And then we'll now with our sharper cream we can go over like that. That's kind of grey there, so I'll do that bit in white. Then we've got a little bit, this is this bit here, that needs to be creamier now. Get those little cream flecks in there. We need some black in there, some black streaks over that lovely red now. So we'd better put those in, I think. Just dump it down a bit. that line there but of course you can see it's quite it's quite dark in comparison it needs to be a bit a bit softened up there so we'll just put these this little dark patch in there the little dark bits there and that's darker there See how I'm holding the pencil for this bit? This is very effective way to hold it. I'm going to do some nice thin lines. Just get some of these shapes in. There's something coming across there. That's it. over it so we did need to have that in there and that that will make it look very three-dimensional at least the dark bits there They're pretty well the first things we put in the picture aren't they See how I'm doing these, you can see there's little clumps of lighter there, 
We'll probably go over those with white. 